Well, good morning, everybody. How you doing? Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're getting started again. So, uh, and this is the first segment of the BTS vlog. I was supposed to do the first segment yesterday uh, at the end of the day, but I was too tired, so I ended up doing it now. So let me give the time and date stamp. It is 10 hours and 17 minutes into the day of Friday, March 21st, 2014. And this is going to be the BTS wall that covers from, from uh, March 20th, well, near the end of March 20th, anyways, uh, uh, the last uh, uh, after midday. The, the, uh, the BTS, the segment I did, the closing segment for March 20th was uh, a midday midday uh, vlog. Uh, I was supposed to do an end of the day vlog, but that's going to happen now. I'm going to tell you about what happened uh, <laughs> after all the drama. Uh, as I said before, uh, I had done the vlog, the last BTS vlog. After I had spent three hours debugging this system here. This is the system that was ha that had the problem. And you know, it's 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 a good thing that Linux is the way it is, and that you can go out to the community and find information about what's going on. I mean, that's whole the whole part, the whole thing of Linux is that it's a community. It's not it's not simply there by yourself. Other people have ideas, and the thing is, at some point in time, once you start getting more comfortable with Linux, you have to give start giving back. You have to start participating in the community. Uh, letting people know what you're what you've done to debug systems, uh, what possibly could be done, and the thing is not that your information is going to be all important, but what happens is this way it is to me is I'll take four or five different answers to different things, or to a, or, or to a similar problem, and there will be four or five different answers to, to, to different things to to, to to the almost uh, to almost the same problem. And so what you do is you, you take and you mix and match. You try out different code. You see how one code works here, how one code works. Then you start mixing and matching the code to see how the code will work. It will either work well or it won't work. And, uh, and you work your way through it until you get the right set of code. You know, until the, the code works for you. And so this is the sort of thing that the more code you have out, the more attempts you have out there, uh, the more, uh, the, more uh, the ability, the... the, the uh, the more likely you'll find a solution to the problem that you're having. And so this is, you know, one of the things I like about Linux, and uh, I am starting to give back now. Uh, and after that, I went into, I started working on the BTS vlogs, did the editing for the BTS vlog, got that done. It took three hours to upload. Now it's taking me about uh, 120 minutes. Is, 120 minutes is uh, 260 minutes. That's, what, that's two hours. Uh, this takes me uh, about uh, 180, 180 hours, almost three hours to upload. So, and in between that time, I did my I did my YouTube stroll. I've changed the way I'm, way I'm, I'm, I'm existing on uh, YouTube for Beauty and the Geek. Uh, rather than sort of just simply having the Beauty and Geek watch list, I've changed it to a YouTube stroll, so I can stroll through the beauty community. Just the way I do the YouTube stroll for uh, uh, for for the average YouTube, uh, I can do a YouTube stroll for the beauty through the beauty community. So that's kind of what I've done. That I've expanded that to there, uh, and you can see that in my Twitter and my uh, yeah, it's my Twitter and Facebook feed will show this. It's not going to show up in my uh, uh, the YouTube stroll is not specifically for YouTube itself. In terms, of, except for being in the episode, in the episodes or uh, of uh, Beauty and the Geek, it is primarily for people who are on, 
follow me on Twitter and Facebook. If you want to see what I'm doing on a daily basis and, if, if, and what I'm working on, well, look at my YouTube show. That's my YouTube show. will tell you what I'm working on. Uh, then I did some work, some cleaning up work in the warehouse. Uh, I got a lot of chunk, a good chunk of work done. I do have to do some heavy moving. This is the next chunk, the next segment of the project. I do have to have, do some heavy moving around. Uh, I've got to still got to figure out how that's going to actually work out and where everything's going to go. Uh, but once I've done that and got that sort of figured out, then uh, the rest of it will be uh, well, not the rest of it. It will move me along significantly that I will have a uh, good work area. A functioning work area uh, in the uh, machine shop warehouse that I'll be able to use as of uh, probably Monday Tuesday so uh, I will try to film back there to show you uh, what I'm doing and how I'm cleaning up this include uh, some uh, uh, vlogging at heights because I have to go up to a um, into the rafters up into, up into this up near the ceiling which is about 20 feet up, but I will vlog up there <laughs> and show you uh, from the high point uh, what has to be done and how things should be organized. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. Oh, I almost forgot about the electronics bench. The electronics bench is coming along. It's it's it, it, the DNS project is taking a lot longer than I expected because. I'm learning about new aspects of DNS that I never expected before, that I never really knew about before, uh, and I do have to take care of it. So, it's, I'm working on that aspect of it now, and it's going to take me a couple days to get through the full configuration of DNS uh, before the system goes on the bench. So, I'm looking at next Friday for the system to come off the electronics bench and that was being refurbished and on to the uh, web servers again. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. <laughs> this is it. For, this is really it. I will see you in the next segment for the BTS vlog for 20th to question mark. Because I don't know when that's going to finish. Anyways, see you in a couple hours. <laughs> It's just about noon, and I'm going food shopping. So this is the second segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, I wasn't gonna go shopping today, but I checked outside, and as you can see, it is really, really nice outside. So that means it's good walking weather, and uh, so food shopping it is today. Now it does take me a while, if you've been watching my vlogs, over a couple days, as I do each segment, to mull things over, to think about things. So sometimes, yeah, I'm repeating things, but they're still being thought about and they're, the thought processes are developing. And what you can see is while well, you do have a bit of a a repetition you do have a uh, progression of moving forward if you will so that's kind of what I'm looking for and uh, let's see if we can sort of maybe cut down on the repetition a little bit that might be an idea but we'll see what happens you know anyways uh, I'm gonna take some pictures as I go along and you can see them on Instagram. And that's about it for now. All right, see you in a bit. Well, things are certainly warming up. I just came out of that uh, New Century's Plaza there. Uh, I like going in there every once in a while as I come shopping here because they always have good stuff on sale there. So it's kind of like a, there's a lot of dollar stores in there. Uh, a lot of stuff for very cheap, so you go through, you peruse, you see what's out there, you know, what they have in the shop. And I'll show you here, uh, St. Mark's is almost done. 
this is where this is where it is now if you look back at my previous videos it was it wasn't anywhere near this completion here so you can see a lot of that in uh, the uh, previous uh, BTS vlogs uh, it was certainly warmed up I mean that's for sure so it's a night turning out to be a nice day I think I dressed too warmly but then when you first start off you're kind of cold and you don't really know so <laughs> anyways off to TNT now all right well, I'm done shopping and it does take uh, some time to figure out what you want to get and also plan the meal plan the menu at the same time so anyways I'll see you back at the office as many vloggers will tell you people don't know what to make of vlogging so when you're out in public and there's a lot of people around it's kind of difficult to talk <laughs> but anyways as I said I've I was in there for a bit, planned my menu for the week, and uh, I'm going to go from there to see what I'm going to try to make big. And the thing is, is that, uh, as I said before, living a freaking lifestyle means you're doing things, things as cheaply as possible. So I was looking at different ways of uh, making rice. And so that's what took some time too. So I went into two houseware stores to look at rice cookers, to see what the principle behind them was. And then once I understood the principle, see if I could do it for cheaper. That's the goal. <laughs> that's that's kind of how I do things. Uh, anyways, I'm on my way back. <clears throat> so I'll see you when I get back to the office. Alrighty, take it easy. Sometimes when you're doing this, you don't know whether it's recording or not. So it's not recording. I'm all right. I said I lied. I'm back. Uh, this is not, wasn't that wasn't the last until, uh, until I got back to the office. I was thinking I was on this uh, uh, healthy living uh, uh, group uh, community on Google Plus. So this is kind of for that. I don't say anything specific about it, but. Uh, that's because it's part of my it's part of my living healthy is part of my normal lifestyle. I mean, I walk to get my food. I've been doing that for about 10 years. It's much cheaper than going to the gym. You know, in terms of if you want to build your body up, you, you know, food shopping's the way to do it. Uh, and of course, you know, as rather than going out to these uh, uh, expensive food stores like Trader Joe's and getting everything organic, what I decided to do because. One, I live in an Asian community, and I grew up in a West Asian community, basically uh, a uh, Greek uh, Syrian community, which is the western, t the northwestern tip of Asia. Uh, I decided to look at what uh, my aunts and uncles and the, and the grandparents, what they were looking, what they did back in the villages. In other words, adopt the village lifestyle here, and that's kind of how I ended up where I am now, living this uh, village lifestyle right in the city. So, you know, if you want to live healthy, you can. It's not a hard thing, to, necessarily a hard thing to do, and it's not expensive. You can do it on a freaking budget. Uh, anyways, I'm going to cross the street now, so the camera has to go off, and that means I'll see you back at the office. <laughs> Just about uh, two o'clock in the morning, and uh, this is going to be uh, the BTS, the third segment of the BTS, the third segment of the BTS vlog for uh, for Saturday. Oh, so let me give you the time and date step. It is two hours and eleven minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, March twenty second, two thousand fourteen. Yeah. It's been a long, rough day. Again, this is what usually happens, is that when something interrupts, and things usually do interrupt, you have to work extra hard to try to bring things back on a schedule, and sort of, there's a, there's a period afterwards, what I call a cleanup period, where you assess the damage as to how far behind you are in your work, and then you uh, readjust and start working away to sort of clean up the mess. 
that was sort of caused by the interruption. And hopefully the goal is that if your efficiency model is good enough, that within two days you can sort of resolve everything and get back on track again. And that's kind of what's happening here is that, uh, yeah, we had the interruptions, we still have the interruptions coming in every now and again, but I'm able to tick off enough that uh, uh, work is getting done, and the end of the week result is that I am further ahead than it was the week before. In other words, I've made progress. So, as long as you have progress, you, you're moving forward, then that's a good sign, and yeah, there are interruptions, but you've got progress so overall, you have progress. And that was uh, uh, yesterday on Friday. Uh, on Friday, we ended up going to, I ended up going to, uh, I went to church. That's where I studied my Greek. I was able to read more of the service in Greek than I did was before. Uh, in other words, my Greek practices during the week uh, are helping. So I know I'm on the right track. I did some more studying in Greek uh, on Saturday morning. But it was kind of a, a rough day on Saturday. Usually after I walk, everything hurts. And that's no exception for today. Uh, for, yes, uh, for Saturday, is that everything hurts. And everything still kind of hurts now. Uh, it's getting better, but... What I was able to do is, and this is sort of looking at uh, some of the work I've been working on, and what I gotta t say to people is that uh, there's more than this going on than just the uh, videos that I'm producing. There is the research going on behind. There's the medical research. There is the uh, uh, that's the research in organic chemistry in the human body. There is, the physics research is still going on. That still being is still going on behind the behind the scenes here. Uh, when I'm thinking about things, you know, there's nothing. There's nothing really to film. It's just sort of you're thinking about it. <laughs> that's the way it goes. Um, I've done more work on FFmpeg. Uh, I'm starting to move forward now. Um, I've made the inquiries to get into the uh, Debian group that handles a lot of the development and the package maintaining, the package maintenance for. FFmpeg. Uh, hopefully, we can move this forward and uh, get something out of it by the end of end of next week. Uh, but these things are are, are, are works in progress. So, uh, as for the physics, going back to the physics, it looks like uh, from the assessment I've made over the last few uh, few days as to uh, sort of what's going on, where we are, it looks like that uh, Project Tesla is coming back on board. What I mean by that is that we now have a uh, projected start date to start doing the bench research on on Project Tesla. So the projected start uh, start date uh, for Project Tesla on the on 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 the bench there is October fourteenth. Uh, uh, no, October October two thousand fourteen. So we have a rough deadline that's October. So we can do uh, starting probably in April. We can start doing a countdown. The product Tesla, in terms of being product Tesla on the bench, product Tesla is already being done. It's already being worked into the notes. Uh, the note, uh, the, so the notebook is, is is being adjusted for this. It's is it, it's accounting already for product Tesla. I will come back next week with uh, sort of an overview of the different projects that are going on in the notebook, sort of give you an idea of uh, of all the different types of research that's going on back here. We, the thing is. Because you're open exploration of the universe, it means you can be exploring literally anything in the universe. So, uh, and the thing is, is that I have found that you cannot discount uh, any area either. I mean, you, you don't know where where, where uh, quantum physics is going to take you. You don't know. Oh, oh, sorry. Where answers lie. You don't know where these things are. Where 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 where, where your limitations are. So if you don't know where the limitations are, why put limitations uh, as to what you can and can't do? I mean, this is what I don't... Well, I do understand it, but this is uh, what I dislike about standard science is is that if something doesn't look quote-unquote scientific, and I certainly don't look scientific from most people, from, from many people's perspective, and that 
they say, whoa, this isn't science at all. This has nothing to do with science. Or it doesn't have to do with their definition of what science is. And so what happens, they come in and say, whoa, you don't belong here in science. And this is what happened. I, like, I, belong, I, I joined two different groups, community groups on Google uh, surround, surrounding science. This is science on Google+. Plus, right? So I, there's two of them. So I joined both of them. Well... I was deleted from both of them. <laughs> but apparently, I'm not a, I'm not, I am not scientific enough for Google Plus. These two, two community groups. Well, uh, I got news for them. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Most standard science, if you're if you're in, in standard academic science, you're not doing cutting edge work. You're just doing, uh, you're, you're 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 supporting the average uh, run of the mill uh, science science fair. Uh, dog and pony show. That's all you're doing. Cutting edge research means you're breaking the mold. It means you go on that extra distance. You are looking for where the edge is. You, it is not cut and dry. It's not going to be, uh, you know, here we're testing out facts. Of, you know, these are scientific facts. We're not testing these scientific facts out. We're not proving the facts. What we're doing is we're looking for the edges. We're looking for the unknowns. We're looking for that uncertainty. And this is what science is all about. And this is actually why we're doing project tests. The project test is because there is unanswered questions in Tesla's work in quantum physics. And project Tesla is going to look at these particular questions. And the thing is, is that, uh, you know what? That's how science works. If you're going to go into science for exploration, that's what it is all about. Anyways, uh, that's it for uh, this segment, the third segment. Uh, I'll come back later on today uh, to do the fourth segment. And look for it sometime during the week. Look for it sometime during the week, uh, you know, when it comes up. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's not good morning, but it's the start of the day, anyways. So let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 13 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Sunday, March 23rd, 2014. And this is the fourth and final segment for this particular this uh, BTS vlog that will take us from the 20th to the four, to the 20th to the to the 23rd. Anyways, uh. I was supposed to go to church today, but I didn't go to church. I ended up being too tired uh, and slept through most of the time. So, <laughs> that being said, uh, I wasn't able to get to church today. Uh, however, I do intend to sort of pick up the amount of times I'm going to church because I am studying Greek, and that's where I study my Greek. But I do have to do some organizing of my books, my notebooks, uh, my workbook here. Uh, before I do that, uh, as you start picking up, as you start doing new things and you get better into it, your notebooks and everything have to adjust and uh, keep up with everything. That being said, uh, the researcher here is now picking up, and this is what I was talking about, uh, about the last time I was talking about Project Tesla. Well, Project Tesla now is coming into uh, mainstream. Uh, I'm, I'm working on my... Um, on my notebooks, uh, working on the network, the, the network is now big enough, it's now robust enough that uh, that I can begin working on Project Tesla. So I'm doing a lot of the um, uh, note organization, I'm doing a lot of the theoretical work is now starting to get more, be more done on the computer systems now. And that means as of October, this is the aim, the aim as, of, as of October uh, 2014, uh, Aim to start work on the electronics bench and uh, in the back warehouse on Project Tesla. So you will see in the description box, and we will talk about this uh, periodically as things uh, progress forward. We will now be talking about Project Tesla, about the uh, the sort of the approach to Project Tesla. We're going to have a countdown. We'll do. Uh, uh, we'll start it probably in May. We'll have May. We'll begin the countdown for Project Tesla. Uh, as we know, as I know more where we are in the project and how far along we've, moved, we've progressed, that will give me an idea as to whether we will meet the October deadline or not. Uh, so, uh, I will put a tentative uh, countdown to Project Tesla, but the time will be set at zero 
Uh, well, uh, it, 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 uh, for me, to start, uh, so, uh, yeah, the whole goal of Project Tesla and the thing is, is, is I'm not going to be doing something major in terms of I'm not going to be building these large facilities that MIT and everybody else has. I'm not going to be doing fusion. I'm not going to be doing a lot of the, the, the uh, work that qu requires uh, massive towers and massive amounts of electricity. The first goal is basically a passive one. It's observational primarily. It's like astronomy almost, but in this case, we're looking at the different uh, uh, energy fields, particularly the electromagnetic, particularly looking at the electro electromagnetic field. And the electromagnetic magnetic field, you're looking at two particular uh, one particular person. You're looking at well, two people basically. You're looking at Ma uh, at uh, Maxwell Planck. You look you're looking at Planck. You're looking at uh, Maxwell equations. You're looking at uh, uh, Faraday, and of course, finally, once, you, once we have those three, then you're looking at Tesla. Uh, from there, you can also go into, because, and this is why I include Planck there, uh, Planck gets you from the wave aspect into the particle aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum, and it gets you into particle physics, and that gets you down into the quantum mechanics zone. And, and so once you have the particle and the wave together, you can now start seeing what type of observation you can get and what you're actually seeing, you know, uh, and how you're sort of interacting with things. So th this is more of, and sort of this, this is the scale that's going to work on here. This is more of, uh, I call a mini or micro scale uh, quantum physics lab. That's what we're aiming for. So it's not going to be major. And the goal is to have the quantum physics lab self-powered. In other words, the whole goal eventually is to have the lab not plugged into the wall, but uh, to build generators, uh, these Tesla generators, see if this actually works, to build a Tesla generator, have the, uh, the lab eventually run off these Tesla generators. Once this works, assuming it should work, uh, I've been looking into some things that there are some possibilities that uh, I, I need to look into. And then... If I can get this working, then the lab will be self-powered. But I don't think that it's going to be. I don't think the lab is going to be self-powered for the first year. I think for the first year, uh, there is going to be a lot of observation, a lot of uh, open experimentation, in, in, in terms of being very general, general in term, You know, because it, when you first start off, you start doing some work. You have to cast your net wide because you don't really know where you're going to go yet. So. Is basically a, a, a random feel around. You do it really are in the first uh, uh, begin, beginning, the first instance, instance <clears throat> the first instances, instances, yeah, the first instances of your research need to be a general survey because it is very random. In the beginning, it's very, very random. You have no particular direction. You have no idea what direction to go in. You're really feeling around for some degree of direction. And as you get the experience doing the research, doing the experimentation, and allowing the experimentation, the experience to lead you, then you start moving your uh, scope inward in terms of the focus and where you're going to go. Once you have some degree of idea of what's out there generally, you can now take specific points and start looking at these specific points. And that's where your, your, your more specific focus comes into. Is that, and the thing is, why are you doing the specific focus? You don't stop your general focus. You don't stop the random walk. The random walk continues all the way throughout your research. It just at certain points you have to go in and look at very specific things to get a better idea of what specific things you've picked up. And that's how this kind of works. So um, we are beginning today. As of today, the uh, project test officially comes on the board. And uh, I will be talking about it both in the warehouse and, and the machine shop and in the, uh, on the electronics bench. Anyways, uh, that's it for uh, this uh, segment of the BTS, BTS vlog. And because this is the fourth segment, that's it for uh, this uh, BTS vlog. I will see you uh, sometime later on today uh, for, for a midday report, for maybe, maybe a midday vlog, and tell you how things are going. Anyways, that's it. Take it easy. Bye-bye.
Welcome to the library. And I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.